What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Wheel Life. My name is John, and on today's episode, we are gonna talk about how a quadriplegic like myself with no hand function, minimum arm function, no muscle movement from the chest line down can drive a vehicle independently. Frightening, I know, but let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Let's go. All right, folks. So many of you have heard my story about how when I was 17 years old, I was paralyzed as a passenger in a car accident that left me a quadriplegic. I've actually done a video on it and I will leave a link to that video in the description below. But you know, I was 17 when I got hurt, so I did have my license pre-injury. All the driver's ed, all the drive time, the license tests, all that good stuff. And after my accident, I was obviously a physical mess. Went through a lot of trauma, was very sick. You know the deal, how that goes with spinal cord injury. But about a year after my accident, I pushed really hard to gain my license back. Because I couldn't just use the license I had pre-injury, I had to retake everything. I didn't have to do driver's ed, but I had to do a lot of drive time. I had to figure out what set of hand controls, should I drive with hand controls, which I will show you momentarily. I had to figure out what kind of hand controls would work for me, what kind of vehicle would work for me. I had to do drive time, a lot of hours with a very strange man with a very long ponytail. And you know, it wasn't the funnest thing in the world. But you know the saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And that was exactly like what it was with my license. Like you don't realize how big a tool being able to drive on your own is independently. You know, it is just, it boosts your confidence. It makes you feel like a person again. And I think everyone in a chair should really strive hard to get their license again, because it's just, and even if I have nowhere to go, if like I'm having a bad day and I just want to get in the car and drive around the neighborhood, it just, it feels so good to have that tool of independence. So enough jibber jabber. I'm going to take you through my car, show you how it's modified, show you how I drive it. And maybe someone watching this video, it'll be helpful to you to give you the confidence to know that you can drive. And it's such an awesome tool for independence. Enough jibber jabber. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is my car. Like I said, I got my license about a year or so after my injury. And it's a 2008 Volkswagen Rabbit. And what I love about this car that is important, that I feel is important, is to have a two-door car. So the doors open up extra wide. So I have a lot of room to get my 6'1 body dragged inside the car. Now, I'm not really gonna show you how I transfer in and out of it today. That'll be for another video. The main purpose of this video is to show you how I drive. You might notice that my car is pretty low to the ground. That's because it's on air ride suspension. So the car actually goes up and down. So when it's low to the ground, it's easier for me to transfer in. And then when I get out, I raise it back up. So it works pretty good. So this is the outside of my car. And let me show you the inside and let's take a cruise. Let's go. All right, guys. So this is the inside of my car, as you can see. And I wanna show you a couple little things that really help me out when I transfer. This seat right here, I had this installed. It folds, it folds up and stuff like that. And then you can fold it back down and it goes in place under the little, little sill there. So what that is used for is so when I transfer from my chair, it's like almost like a little bridge. And so my tush lands on here and then I hop into my seat. What is What I don't like about this though, you see these metal holes right here? It's really terribly designed for a quad. If my little skinny tush hit that, it would really be damaging to my skin. You have to be really careful of your skin as a quadriplegic. So what I do is I take a cushion and place it over that. But I'll show you that in next week's video when I show you how I really transfer in and out of the car. Another interesting thing you'll see is this box right here. It's called a memory shift box. And when I first got the car, I couldn't shift it by myself with the with the center console. So what they did was they took my transmission out and they put it up onto that thing. So when I tran when I get in the car and I start it, I can just hit P R N D for park, reverse, neutral drive, all that good stuff. And that little lever down there, that little silver lever that says down on, down off, that's actually my emergency brake. So it's kind of interesting. So now I'm gonna get in. I'm not gonna show you that right now, but I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna show you my hand controls. So let's get to it. 
All right, guys, so I am in the car now, and so I'm gonna show you my hand controls and how they work. So, first off, I have to move my seat forward. And how I move my seat forward, because this car doesn't have electric seats, which is a really big nuisance. And if I was buying a car now, that would be one of the first things that I look for, the seats that move forward. So I did a little workaround. How I move my seat forward, is I have a bandana, attached to the um, lever that moves the seat. So I pull the lever up in my right hand, and I grab the steering wheel, pull myself forward. It's not really the most convenient setup, but it works. So how the hand controls themselves work is actually pretty simple. So see this lever right here? This is lever that is attached, has two poles down here, you can't really see them, but they attach to the gas and the brake. And to use the gas, I push down, Hear the car and to use the brake i push forward and this little lever right here is a horn i'm not going to do it but that, that's my horn <laughs> and so this right here is my tri pin because i don't have hand function so i can't grasp the wheel i know very dangerous right <laughs> so what they did is they gave me this so called a tri pin so i put my hand in here and i can steer the, the wheel all around we have so many motorcycles that live in this neighborhood. It's absolutely insane to try to film a video. Whether it's a sermon on a Sunday or a YouTube video, there's always motorcycles in the background. But it's, it's okay, I love motorcycles. And see these levers down here? These make me feel like I drive an airplane sometimes. But these go to my suspension. So I, I kind of lift the car up and the suspension goes up on both sides. Now, now we'll take you guys for a cruise and you can see it in action. Ready? Let's get to it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put my car into reverse. Safety first with a seatbelt. Always wear your seatbelts. Let's go for a little cruise. You'll see how I drive. I wonder how many people think it thought before this video a quadriplegic could drive. There's a car coming, so I'm gonna be nice and safe. I believe you have to be very safe when you drive. You know, there's no rush, there's no need to rush. Take your time and enjoy. drive it's very self-explanatory it's pretty simple but it's a massive confidence boost and a massive 
massive tool for independence. And that's one of my favorite things to do. So that's really all I wanted to show you guys today. And probably next week or the week after, I'm gonna have a video showing you how I get in and out of the car and how I make that work as well. So I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day. I hope you get to spend some time with your family, regardless of social distancing. You know, just have a really good time. Be safe, keep the faith, get behind the wheel again. Let's go.